What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. In today's video, we're gonna answer the question of what does continue do in Python? So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. So what is continue? Continue essentially in Python is a keyword that is used for control, or is basically used for controlling a uh, control statement for loops. So you've probably seen things like break, um, where you use a break to break out of it. Well, continue is essentially a way that allows you to continue in a loop, but go to the next iteration skip that so let me show you an example of what I mean by this so an example of what continue does is essentially if we create a let's just create a for loop that says for um, I in range of 10 or well, yeah let's go to 10 10 there we go um, if I say like a lot of times what you'll do is you'll have a condition in a loop where you're, you're like hey I don't really want to do you know anything at this index or or with this item so just move on because Maybe you have like a count value, right? So count is equal to zero um, and say for the index. So if the, if if I is equal to five, you know, just continue. Otherwise, you know, I, you know, count is going to plus equal to, you know, whatever I is. So if we run this, we can get the final output of what count is and we'll just print this out, print, create an F string count equals count. So if I run this, Python, Python examples, boom. So count equals 40. Well, what happens if I remove this? Um, essentially, count is going to equal 45, right? Because I'm just adding this. So what it's doing is it's just it's just basically saying when it gets to this condition, you just continue saying, I just want to go through the rest of the loop so that this other code, all the rest of this code, like if there's even more code down below in this for loop, does not get executed. What happens is, is it's going to go through and when it hits five, it's going to say, oh, come in here. Oh, you want to continue? Okay. Okay, we'll just skip back up here to the top of the for loop, increment i to six, and then go through this and then keep going. Um, and what you can see by this is I can essentially say print right here, and I can say print um, i equals, and then just print out i, and I gotta make this an f string to make that work. So if I run this again, what you'll see is we go zero, because remember Python is zero base. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, five got skipped, we're at six, seven, eight, and then nine, because range stops at 10. So um, it'll go Go zero to nine. So that is exactly what continue does. It is essentially a way for in a loop to skip the underlying code that you have and basically allow you to say, yeah, I don't want to process the rest of this at this at this say condition or whatever, um, and just continue on to the next iteration of this loop. Um, whereas things like break or whatnot will basically exit that you know the nearest loop. So if I had a break right here. I run this um, again, you'll see that, hey, it only gets to zero, one, two, three, four, it gets to five and it breaks out. Um, so that's what continue allows you to do. It's just like, if you wanna continue through that loop, just skip that instance of what you're trying to, whatever of the case, uh, whatever the instance or the case that you're trying to like just skip past, it basically allows you to skip. Um, so I hope this has provided value. If it has, please smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed so we continue to learn about Python, software development, other programming languages, and other things that I find interesting and want to share with you. So um, until next time, keep on programming.